Hello, my name is Karina Juanalo Contreras and I work as cell culture specialist for CELCA, the original manufacturer of cell culture insects. I would like to thank the organizing committee of the Advances in Cell and Tissue Culture International Conference for this invitation. I also would like to thank Swift Analytical, our distributor in the UK, for co sponsoring this presentation. At Savoy, the original manufacturer of CellCard, we have many years of experience in the production of plastics and membranes for life science and cell culture applications. Our brand promise is making the highest quality inserts direct from the manufacturer available at affordable prices. And we are constantly working with scientists like you to enable the in vivo to in vitro transition. In today's presentation, we will talk about membrane technology for tissue engineering. But before going into that, I would like to let you know that at CellCard, we value your work and we celebrate your achievements. Currently, state-of-the-art non-animal methods like treating human skin and eye models, cell and tissue cultures, and computer modeling are not only safe and reliable, but consistently outperform animal tests in predicting human safety. In the past decades, an increased number of non-animal methods have been approved as OECD test guidelines. Non-animal methods are increasingly being used because of their potential to reliable and efficiently produce information that is fit for purpose while reducing animal use. And all this is thanks to your hard work. Just recently, the US Senate passed the FDA Modernization Act to curb animal testing in the coming years by allowing for other types of tests or analysis in the drug approval process. As we can see, thanks to scientific innovation, translatability, reproducibility, and standardization, the use of animal experimentation has become increasingly obsolete. We know that for non-animal methods that require laboratory experiments, it is critical that they provide consistent and reliable results. The consumables and reagents that you use in your experiments are fundamental. The value of cell culture experiments lies in how well they recapitulate in vivo conditions. For in vitro cell culture, the properties of the support where the cells grow are critical. While conventional cell culture vessels can be adequate for some applications, the development of porous semipermeable membrane-based devices has opened up the possibilities to create more complex models. For example, models that allow for cell polarization, cell communication, and cell migration. And for example, if you work with tissue engineering of barrier tissues or multi-compartment in vitro system, porous membranes are integral components of the cell culture vessels. These membranes create interfaces and help establish apical and basolateral surfaces and provide mechanical support for the cells. Additionally, porous culture membranes can be used to assess the transport and secretion of small molecules or the transmigration of cells. Membrane-based devices, such as cell culture inserts, are widely used for ADMET, toxicity studies, and cell signaling, among many others. As considerable interest has been shown towards developing membrane-based in vitro models, the properties of the membranes are fundamental. In selecting a porous membrane for your cell culture, there are a number of considerations that can improve the relevance of your model. Among them, we have pore size. The pore size determines if cells will stay at the membrane or if they will transmigrate. For the culture models at both sides of the membrane, pore size can also allow physical contact or intercellular communication. As a general rule, smaller pore sizes are optimal for tissue engineering, while bigger pore sizes are used mainly for migration and invasion studies. Another factor to consider when selecting a membrane for your application is the porosity. By porosity, we refer to the pore density, that is, the number of pores per square centimeter. The pore size in combination with the porosity influences the permeability of the membrane and transport of species from one compartment to the other. Another very important factor are the optical properties. The optical properties of the membranes are critical as often cell monitoring, cell profiling, and measurements are performed via microscopy. 
For example, red field imaging enables the non-invasive monitoring of cells during the progression of the cell culture, while fluorescent imaging allows the identification of relevant cellular biomarkers. The porosity of the membrane and the pore angle affect the optical properties. As a general rule, more pores or pores edge in different angles scatter more light and can be found in non-optical transparent membranes, while less pores or pores edge in parallel angles are found in optical transparent membranes. Surface modifications are also important because membranes should favor cell attachment. For that, some materials may undergo an additional process to alter their properties, for example, making the membrane more hydrophilic. And for some specific applications, a pre-coating of the membrane could be necessary. Now that we have learned about the important factors to look for on a membrane for tissue engineering, I would like to introduce you to the technology and science behind our membranes. The membrane is perhaps the most important component of the cell culture insert, as it is the place where cells will attach and grow, and it allows the diffusion of nutrients and substances to the cells. All our cell card cell culture inserts contain microporous trackage membranes. We are a source for cell culture inserts who is in control of all components and manufacturing steps, starting from membrane production to assembly of membrane and injection molded components, also produced in-house. Trackage membranes are produced from ultra-thin PET plants that are bombarded with accelerated noble gas ions. The goal of this step is to break the molecular chains of the polymer to create ion tracks that are clearly defined by their density and angles. The desired density is accurately determined by the ion beam intensity and the film velocity. The precise control of these factors allows for the production of superior optical clear membranes. Afterwards, our membranes go through a special aging protocol to assure best pore characteristics. After this protocol, the ion tracks are chemically etched into pore channels. The diameter of these pores can be determined with submicrometer accuracy. At CellCard, we perform a 100% inline pore size and distribution control of full membrane width. Finally, our membranes are treated with air plasma to promote optimal cell attachment. Trackage membranes are produced in-house by Savoy, guaranteeing 100% parameter consistency and are integrated in our line of cell culture inserts. We perform a 100% control of every segment. We determine pore size and pore distribution. This is very important for consistent cell growth. To guarantee that cells grow as required on the inserts, the ability to control the quality parameters of the membrane is an essential feature. In addition, the membrane must be appropriately coated and evenly welded to the plastic. If any single element is defective, the whole cell culture will be damaged. Consequently, these aspects are crucial. We rigorously monitor all the parameters in our end-to-end -end checking process. Cell card cell culture inserts have been used in several international published studies to model epithelial and endothelial barriers, perform cultures to study cell communication, and models to study cell migration and invasion, among many others. Here, I present some examples. In the first one, kidney epithelial cells were grown on cell card as a part of a standardized protocol for large-scale production of proximal tubular epithelial cells generated from human pluripotent stem cells. The transepithelial electrical resistance of mature proximal tubular epithelial monolayers was measured. The results show that cells were able to establish and maintain a tight epithelial barrier for the duration of the experiment. In the second example, cell card inserts were used to model the blood-brain barriers. For this application, human brain astrocytes were seeded on one side of the membrane, and human brain microvascular endothelial cells were seeded on the other side. The quality of the culture was monitored using TIR, 
demonstrating that cells were able to attach, survive, and create a stable barrier. Afterwards, inflammation was induced in this model and cellular transmigration was studied. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website and click on Applications where you can find a complete publication list, also other scientific and educational resources. At CellCard, we have a wide portfolio of cell culture insects for 6, 12, and 24 webs, ranging in pore sizes for 0.4 microns to 8 microns in different optical properties and porosities. We have a complete team of cellular biologists, polymer chemists, and product developers, and thanks to that, we're constantly addressing the unmet needs in cell culture. Then I would like to introduce you to our newest product. We just launched our specially designed well plates, preloaded with cell card cell culture insects. The cell card team has been working hard over the past year to develop the next product for you. We have carefully listened to your feedback and needs, meticulously analyzed them, and put them together in this product. The mutually optimized design of our cell culture inserts, preloaded in well plates, offers the following benefits. A stable positioning of the inserts within the wells. This brings a reduction of unwanted mechanical forces on cells that are caused by insert shifting, as well as simplified pipetting by reduction of handling efforts. It also offers flexibility to integrate with automated workflows and the design facilitates tear electrode positioning. In addition, prevention of unwanted insert movement during transportation and the lid has condensation rings to prevent from cross-contamination. As you can see, this product offers the perfect solution for cell culture and in vitro tissue culture research applications. The well plates are available and supplied in 6 and 24 well format in 0.4 and 1 micron pore sizes, fully preloaded with cell card cell culture inserts, esterile and ready to be used. At CellCard, we are committed to supporting our users the best we can. We aim to meet all your cell culture needs and we are looking forward to keeping collaborating with the scientific community. The product that I just introduced is the result of multidisciplinary collaboration, and we know that this has been the key for the increasing progress made in the in vitro field. Animal testing raises important concerns about its reliability and predictive value for human outcomes, and creates avoidable animal suffering. Nowadays, there are in vitro alternatives to animal testing available, and we believe that we can accelerate the pace of change. CellCard is actively collaborating with scientists to enable the in vivo to in vitro transition. With our CellCard cell culture inserts, we are committed to the triage principle while advancing human benefit. Further, we are dedicated to resolve the dilemma of customer needs for innovative cell culture products, meeting highest standards at affordable prices. I would like to thank you for joining this presentation. If you would like to know more about our products, please visit cellcart.com and follow us in Twitter. Let's all work together to make non-animal methods the new standard.